Today's topic is the NAS, or Network Attached Storage, which we will discuss at nauseum. Well, hope you don't throw up when I talk. I do appreciate you watching. Peter, all the way from Moscow, Russia, a city that I would love to visit, but haven't had a chance yet. Dear Paul, thank you for your great efforts to help people to get the best sound. My pleasure, sir. I have a question for you. When you use J River, which is a music management program, kind of like iTunes, um, and it's connected to your DAC via USB, what's the best solution? Do you use a NAS as a storage or run a server software on the NAS? Uh, and very important, why? What is your NAS setup at Music Room 1? Sincerely, Peter Yaverbaum in Moscow, Russia. Thanks, Peter. Well, let's, let's, let's just start with the, the first topic, which is the NAS. So a NAS is a network-attached storage device, which is essentially a hard drive, a little power supply that runs the hard drive, and a small Linux computer. You've probably, if you're into tech stuff at all, you might know about a Raspberry Pi, um, but, uh, and it's not necessarily a Raspberry Pi, but it is in, in essence like that. It's a small ARM processor that is running typically Linux, and that is a little computer. And that computer uh, catalogs and accesses the files on the hard drive and then converts them into a form that is network compatible and you put it on through an Ethernet connection or Wi-Fi, and it goes on to your local area network. So essentially, a NAS is a small, built-in, purpose-built computer and a hard drive for storing files, and that is on your network. And typically, when you go on your computer, you look around, you'll see the available shares. You'll look and you'll see, ah, oh, here's Paul's music storage, and that's a NAS drive is stored on there. Other ways to store externally from the computer are the same thing, but instead of the network attached storage, you might have a USB based hard drive. And there, there is a, um, not really a computer, but just some peripheral ICs that connect USB um, uh, up to the hard drive on there and then your computer runs through and does all the file searching and whatnot. So it doesn't actually have a computer on it, it's just an access port for USB. And so those are the, the two main ways that we can have external hard drive storage. So the question is, when you're using JRiver um, on your computer as your music management program, is it better to have an internal hard drive an external hard drive, and if it's an external hard drive, should it be a NAS or a USB drive? Now, there are a lot of opinions on it, and, and I know that, uh, uh, yeah, Peter, your, your other part of the question is, would it be better off using the, the uh, software that is usually on the NAS? And I'll get to that in a sec, but just to that basic question. So in one sense, a NAS is better because it doesn't take up so much of the computer's internal um, power supply and uh, um, uh, a bus that's used uh, for the hard drive. So a lot of people believe that a NAS is better. Certainly, everybody I know in Japan, Japanese audiophiles, love NAS. Why? It's isolated. It has its own power supply. It doesn't use the power supply of the computer, which a lot of USB drives do. Not all, but a lot of them do. And it doesn't have a direct connection through USB, which they believe pollutes the computer setup and will change the way things sound. And I haven't done any actual tests on that. What they're saying is logical and it makes sense. I, I tend to um, not pay a whole bunch of attention to that, to be honest. I mean, I, I use enough jitter-reducing uh, devices like our Land Rover for USB um, and, and internal drives that, to be honest, I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference. And I rarely use a NAS. And the reason is NAS are slow. 
They are, I mean, try and load a two terabyte library over your local area network. It takes forever. I would much rather do it through a USB connected drive or on my Mac, I've got multiple uh, bays that I can put hard drives in. Boy, that's just fast as it could be. So in my setup, to answer your question without too much rambling, in my setup, I actually use a Mac Mini that has an internal solid state drive. And I prefer that to any external drive whatsoever. And it sounds great. It's one of the better sounding servers I know of. So that's what I do. Last question, J River on a computer or do you use the DLNA um, uh, 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 plug and play uh, type of software that you find on a NAS, which is usually a product called Twonky. And Twonky is part of um, a system that we do call uh, the Digital Living Network Alliance or DLNA and plug and play, which is what our bridge in our DAX uses. So our bridge um, will connect through a Twonky server, uh, which is what that is, and uh, a, an iPad or um, uh, uh, you know, uh, an, an iPhone, so that that's the controller and the server is on running through Twonky on the NAS and into our unit. And that works and that's good, but in my experience, Twonky is kind of wonky. You like that? Twonky is wonky. Um, J River is a much better program and I think it probably sounds better too. So although I hate J River's interface, it, I, I can barely figure it out. It's like once you get past that, from a sound quality wise, it's it's hard to beat J River. It really is. So if you're computer savvy at all, get through the horror of learning their user interface. And once you get through that and you figure it out, you're in like Flynn. And that's what I would do. J River, um, unless you're on a Mac. And on a Mac, it's clear. Bit perfect. $10, downloaded, iTunes, iTunes remote. And that is the best system that I know of. And the second best is a Windows-based system, but hey, I'm a Mac guy. All right, thanks, Peter. And I really appreciate you writing me all the way from Moscow. Maybe I can come visit someday. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <music>